the Lord, everybody. I hope you are ready to give God praise. At the Reach Church in Salisbury, He empowered us. You don't have to be in a pew to be in the service. It isn't the biggest church in town, but as the name implies, it has a powerful reach. You know, we have folks that watch us from India, from Kenya, um, from Asia. Of course, um, folks all across the country that has heard of the ministry, maybe friends and family of, 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 of members of my church, they have poured in and, and they have been a support during this time. Maybe it's been because their pastors or their churches weren't online. And so we have been kind of that filler for them to still get a good word and a good worship experience. The COVID-19 pandemic did not play a role in starting the online ministry of the REACH Church. They were well ahead of that trend. Technology and social media is, was the way that the world and this generation was talking. And so if we wanted to be an impact in this day, that we had to get good in the social media space and with our technology because that was attractive to this generation. Pastor Bradley Taylor is an innovator. We spoke with him in 2018. A severe winter storm was predicted. Many churches called off services due to the forecast. Not Taylor. He moved the service from Sunday to Saturday, and it worked. Now in the midst of a pandemic that has closed the doors to worshipers, Taylor is once again able to weather the storm. When I knew the kids were out of school, probably back in March, um, we started planning ahead to, to move through the summer of, of uh, doing it online and getting better and making sure that we're able to provide um, what, our, what our congregants needed to make sure that they were getting their, their, their faith uh, energized and, and uplifted and make sure that they stay connected. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in your home. Last night, we introduced you to Dr. Mark Conforti of the First United Methodist Church. Like the REACH Church, the sanctuary doors here are closed, but the online presence is meeting the need. I think 30, 40 years from now, we'll look back and we'll say, that was the moment that we had a definitive shift in our culture and it was reflected in how the church did ministry. Good morning. I'm Talbot Davis, the pastor here at Good Shepherd United Methodist. And it's not just the church in the Carolinas or the United States. It's the church worldwide. And on my deathbed, I will be saying to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. This is Reverend Henry Dixon preaching from his home in a YouTube channel. He's the pastor of Poplar Baptist Church in London, and he is a personal friend. The COVID-19 pandemic closed churches across the UK, and once again, technology proved invaluable in keeping a congregation together. It's a very poor substitute, I admit, for meeting together in the flesh and being able to talk with each other. But nevertheless, it does give us an opportunity to chat with each other a bit and to uh, encourage each other. And back closer to home at the REACH Church or at First United Methodist or any one of thousands of churches now offering online worship, ministers say adapting and overcoming difficulty has always been a hallmark of faith. There's this wonderful um, theologian um, named Tom Langford passed away many years ago. He, and he had a great quote. The church is too human to ever succeed, but too divine to ever fail. 